This is one way I teach um, counting sounds to my students. The first thing I do is I give them some counters and today where I'm working with three and I um, tell them that we're going to say a word, we're going to stretch the word out, and then we're going to move the counters for the sound of the word. We're going to touch the counters again and then put the word back together. And then they're going to tell me how many sounds that they've heard. So if I said the word is bug, everybody say bug. Stretch it out, bug. And then we're going to move our counters. B, uh, g. Again, sounds b, uh, g. Word is bug. How many counters did we move up? We moved three counters for the word bug. Now I'll have the kids move the counters back and I'm going to give them another word. And I usually sometimes will actually change and I will use less counters so every counter isn't being used. Like if I use the word me, we're going to say the word me, stretch it out, me, and we're going to move our counters, m, e, say the sounds, m, e, word, me. How many counters? Two. So we talk about how we use two counters and not all the counters are used. So we make sure we listen to the sounds and then move the counters for each sound. And that is one way I teach counting sounds with students.